771 people to date. 771 people murdered in Chicago this year. It's not inconceivable that before the year is out, we would top 800. That's only 30 more people. Um, it infuriates me when people, for ideological reasons, <clears throat> usually social justice warriors, say there's no such thing as black-on-black -black crime. Now, these are just the people who are dead because of um, shootings. No, keep in mind, shootings, stabbings, um, beatings, uh, whatever, you, however you can murder somebody. But the vast majority of them are gunshot and um, shot with illegal weapons, bought illegally. Um, and Chicago has the strictest, one of the strictest, if not the strictest gun laws in the country. And <clears throat> I know for sure that both Illinois and Chicago were the strictest um, just five years ago. Um, Absolutely, because it was basically almost like the Second Amendment was suspended. There was no, there was no even ability to carry a gun if you were not, um, if you were not law enforcement. Um, but yes, yeah, seven hundred and seventy-one in Chicago. Now keep in mind, that's basically confined to. Um, Part of the north side around Rogers Park, the south side in the hundreds, and the um, the west side, which is the southwest side. When everybody anybody says the west side, southwest side, and uh, primarily K Town. I mean, yeah, little village. It's people. It's full of gang members. But I mean, the the, the you know, and people also talk about Lawndale and Pilsen and and those areas. Those are, I mean largely Hispanic, and that's not where, I mean, there's murders that take place there, yeah, but the vast majority of them are actually in the black areas. That's not a judgment or anything, that's just a fact. Um, the areas of K-Town, um, the hundreds, which even people who will go into K-Town won't necessarily go into the hundreds, even though K-Town, I mean, this is the areas that you'd call Chirac. And um, it's ludicrous to me that there's places in L.A. I mean, they always, whenever you, you they picture gang violence in um, in movies, it's always L.A. and New York. And I, I have a theory about that. And I always wonder, why the hell do they do that? That's ridiculous. It's ludicrous. Chicago has always been, of the major cities, the 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 uh, deadliest, basically. And I think it's because they can't even go into those areas. You, co you couldn't have a film crew in those areas for the most part. Um, just like um, in Sicario, they couldn't actually film in Juarez. Um, they, had to actually, they had to just do the aerial shots in Juarez and then um, basically build uh, what looked like the city of Juarez, I don't know, either in... California or basically some other part of Mexico but um, yeah it's I mean the stuff they do film in Chicago like I noticed at Rush because I'm always down at around Rush they film um, some big TV show about a hospital in Chicago whatever that that famous show is they're they're always filming at Rush um, which was Rush press St. Luke's you know a few years ago um, or if you're older, Press St. Luke's or, uh, you know, Presbyterian St. Luke's. Uh, but yeah, they, I mean, God forbid they would film at Loretto. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you, um, these are areas you wouldn't even, people, people don't dare drive through. I mean, I've had to work in these areas. Um, many times uh, and 
yeah, not even all black neighborhoods are created equal. I mean, it's not just, oh, it's a black neighborhood, it's bad. Um, I mean, yeah, it's strange. And even in these areas, I mean, there are, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's odd that people can think, um, welfare and more social programs and more money and more taxes and more, um, public aid will fix things when that's exactly what doomed Chicago. Um, you can look at Mayor Daley heralding when the Robert Taylor housing projects opened in places like Cabrini Green, him standing outside saying, this is a new era for, you know, black Americans. Yeah, well, it was. It was the beginning of the the hell that they would enter in the 1960s and um, still haven't come out of yet. So it's a sad thing, but also the violence afflicts um, Hispanic neighborhoods and white neighborhoods. And a lot of those neighborhoods, I mean, there's whites, there's Hispanics, there's blacks. Sometimes on those border areas, that's where you see the most amount of violence. All right, peace to you.